I'm with Tico Kerr, a patient of the British Columbia Center for Excellence in HIV AIDS at St. Paul's Hospital. Tico, when were you first diagnosed with HIV and what were you told about the prognosis at the time? I took my first HIV test in 1985 and tested positive. I was living in Sydney, Australia at the time and at that time there was a lot of stigma, a lot of fear, a lot of people dying and no therapies of any kind, so I was told to head back to Canada to my family and set my affairs in order. And then you ended up going to the BC Center for Excellence in HIV AIDS at St. Paul's. Yes. How, how did that change your life? It was a dramatic change. Uh, all of a sudden I found myself in a wonderful community of people that were suffering the same way I was, but a, a medical staff that was diligent about being compassionate and educating me and getting me comfortable with the fact that there were possibilities that new drugs were being developed. So it gave me hope. And the work of the BC Centre for Excellence in HIV AIDS has changed the face of HIV and AIDS in BC. Can you tell me a little bit about your experience? Yes, of course. Uh, I've been HIV positive for 30 years. Uh, in 2006 I began a new regime that totally made me undetectable after one month and I remain so to this day. So it's remarkable to have suffered as much as I have uh, all these years and to have a totally manageable situation with a totally normal life and a future. How do you feel now and, and what are you up to? I feel fantastic. Uh, I've been given my life back. I'm positive, I've got hope. I've got more energy than people my age, frankly, and I'm very happy about the future. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.